Well, this is pretty big news. Oh, we have a terrible Reggie Feast of Man! OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. OB1 plays. everybody how are y'all doing we have some pretty dope news for this video but before we get started give it a thumbs up let's crush 300 likes for this video all right big news in playstation land the playstation 5 as of the beginning of march so who knows what it's at right now has passed 6 million consoles sold already. So according to VG charts, and this comes from ScreenRant.com too, the PlayStation 5 has surpassed 6 million units worldwide according to the collection this month and so since the beginning of march the playstation 5 has already passed six millions came out in no end of november december january february in three months bro in three months the playstation 5 has sold six million units that's at a pace of two million consoles a month that is insane those are some pretty 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 big numbers and of course uh, fans also want to know its major competition is the xbox according to the same um reporting and the same numbers the xbox series x and s has sold worldwide 3.9 combined units so 3.9 trailing behind the playstation 5 but it was to be expected uh, and don't get me wrong the Xbox is doing pretty good themselves. It's just again, it's when you compare it to the PlayStation 5, it looks like it's not, but it's still holding on. They're doing, they're doing good. They're doing good. I knew the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 5 is gonna win this generation. So far, so far they're winning. Who knows anything could happen, but just even based on it, you're gonna see why in a second. But the PlayStation 5 at launch had exclusive games. The Xbox Series X had none. Um, this year, as I'm gonna show you my experience, just my experience with the PlayStation 5, they still have a lot of exclusive content coming to the console. That, the only thing the Xbox has Series X for this year is Halo. Every generation I buy every um, console, I've yet to bought an Xbox Series X yet, just because even though I have the money, I don't feel like wasting money. I feel like it'll be a, just a waste of money right now with only Halo. And I'm not a huge Halo fan. But the PlayStation 5 has sold over 6 million units. And I have to say, they had exclusives at launch. Highlight for me was Demon Souls. I've never played a Souls game before. I bought this at launch on my PS5. I beat it and I enjoyed the game from beginning to to end another highlight for me at launch on the ps5 astro playroom a experience you can only get on the playstation 5 console with this controller i tweeted this out yesterday and i said this before with my playstation 5 i feel like i got a next gen console with my xbox series s x if i get one it, so far, it just looks like the same exact thing as my Xbox One. It's same controller, same UI, the same games, just running at a higher resolution. Not hating, I'm just sh sharing how I feel on both consoles. If it was flipped, if Xbox has an had an innovative controller, exclusives at launch, I'd be like, whoa, this is a next-gen experience. But Astro's Playroom, fantastic, fantastic game. If you get a PS5, 
the first game I recommend everyone playing is Astros Playroom. It's a short game, but it really gets you to grasp the concept of this controller. Bro, I still remember at launch when I held this controller during the title screen of Astros Playroom, I was like, okay, this is next gen. This, it just felt like something I've never experienced before. And I, that's what I get for my PS5. It's a gaming experience I never experienced before. And I know it's just gonna be more of the same on my Xbox. Not hating on Xbox. I'm just, I'm just stating facts. All right, another dope game at launch was Spider-Man. And I already know what dudes are going to say in the chat. I mean, when this game was also on the PlayStation 4. Bro, it was still a new game launching at the same time of a new console. Spider-Man Miles Morales had over a 50% attach rate for PlayStation 5s. What does that mean? It was a PlayStation 5 system seller. You can say all you want about, ah, it was on the PS4. It sold PlayStation 5 consoles. What Sony wanted, this was another dope launch game. My favorite superhero game to this, to this day. I got a second place favorite superhero game we're about to talk about. But this game was just fantastic. Bro. And so that's at launch. Now, not everything has gone quite to Sony's expectations, especially with software is concerned. Games like Ratchet and Clank were originally scheduled to be in the launch window. So we were thinking January, February, early 2021. This game has been pushed back all the way to June. So that's a real long launch window. But this is my most anticipated PlayStation 5 game for the year. Love Ratchet and Clank on the PS4. This game looks amazing. And this was the game that Sony used to show next gen. How you just instantly shifted between dimensions using the PlayStation 5 SSD. It was brilliant. I grasped it. I got it. And so it's not just faster load time. It actually can be integrated in the gameplay experience. Ratchet and Clank day one buy in June. Probably my second most anticipated game this year, Kena Bridge of Spirits. Everything about this game looks amazing, bro. This game, I've said it before, it looks like a mix if Zelda and Pikmin had a baby, it would be Kena Bridge of Spirits. The game looks dope, looks dope, looks dope. It's gonna be a day one buy. This also pushed all the way back to August. This was supposed to be a launch game for the PlayStation 5 and was pushed all the way back to August. But I think this game will be well worth the wait. Now, so we have dope games still coming in 2021. Capping it off with, I think one of these next two games will be holiday 2021. I don't think both is gonna happen. Sony said that both are coming out this year. Horizon Forbidden West and God of War Ragnarok. It's gonna be one of the two. I do not think Sony is going to have both, um, both of these huge games to come out. These are each a holiday system seller. And so for both these games to come out so close to each other, then again, Sony is the same company that had Last of Us 2 one month, Ghost of Tsushima the very next month. So anything is possible, but I think one of these two games will be delayed, uh, but Sony's gonna have at least one big holiday title uh, for uh, the year. Now, those are um, 2021 games. You gotta also keep in mind, Sony's gonna have console exclusives like Forspoken. This game looked amazing, bro. And so these are more reasons why Sony's going to be selling more consoles than Xbox Series X's because Sony emphasizes more console sales. Xbox has a different business um, model where they're going to emphasize subscriptions, which do their own thing. 
um, PC gaming. That's not really for me. But um, uh, Forsaken can't wait on my PS5 right now. PlayStation 5 easily my favorite console this generation. Loving, loving, loving the system. But what am I gonna be playing with a couple of delays? Games like Gran Turismo 7 was supposed to come out this year, got delayed. The um, Harry Potter type game, Hogwarts, that got delayed, which looked dope to 2022. But Outriders comes out in a week, week's time, April, um, April 1st. This is gonna be a day one buy. I've been sold on the demo. Can't wait to play more of this game. And what I've started playing again on my PS5, Marvel's Avengers relaunched on next gen consoles. I'm loving the game on my PS5 right now. Couple that with Black Panther, the Black Panther announcement. Oh man, um, they've probably possibly breathed new life into this game and so marvel avengers and outriders will be my games throughout april and then at the end of april returnal comes uh, on the 30th this game looks amazing it looks like a third person metroid game that's what i'm getting from it bro when i see it even the story very reminiscent of a metroid um, experience so we'll see we'll see what the game is actually um, gonna offer Bro, I have to remind everyone before I leave this video, this game will be free, free in April. Oddworld Soulstorm is a, it's going to be launching free on PlayStation Plus. And so I originally was probably going to skip this game, but it's going to be free. So I'm going to play it. <laughs> All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date, all things gaming, bro. And Uncharted 5, you know that's happening. So, Sony still got hitters in the back pocket. All right, dudes, we out.